and we're going to read Going to the Hospital by Fred Rogers. Photographs by Jim Judkus. Have you ever had to stay in bed for a few days because you were sick or hurt? Many children have times like that. Times when their moms and dads help them get well at home. There are times, though, when children need care that their moms and dads can't give them at home. Those are times when parents may have to take their children to a hospital. A hospital is a place where doctors and nurses work together with others to take special care of people who are sick or hurt. When people go to the hospital, they might stay for a day or they might stay for several days. No matter why you go to the hospital or how long you stay, you'll get to go home again just as soon as the doctor decides you're well enough to leave. When you're getting ready to go to the hospital, there's lots to do and plenty to think about. You might want to ask questions about why you're going to the hospital and what it will be like there. You might want to play about it too. If you're going to the hospital for only a day, you may want to bring along your favorite toy. But if you're going to stay for more than a day, you'll probably pack a bag with things you want to have with you, like pajamas, slippers, a toothbrush, a favorite book or toy, and clothes to wear when you come home. Some people like to take along a picture of their family, too. People have lots of different feelings about going to the hospital. Some even think that it's their own fault that they're there. But it's not their fault. Going to the hospital isn't a punishment. It's a way of getting help. If you're feeling sad or scared or angry, it can help to tell someone you trust how you're feeling. When you first arrive at the hospital, it can seem like a big, busy place with many people coming and going. When you go there, you often have to ask for directions. You'll probably go to a waiting room until it's your turn for the hospital receptionist to see you. As soon as your turn comes, you'll get a bracelet with your name on it. It's called an ID bracelet. That's just a short way of saying identification bracelet. You'll need to wear that bracelet as long as you stay in the hospital. If someone wants to know your name, that person can ask you or just look at your bracelet. You'll be able to take the bracelet off as soon as you go home if you want. A person staying in the hospital may get a different kind of pajamas or nightgown to wear, a kind that doesn't have buttons so it's easier to get in and out of. The ID bracelet and the hospital pajamas may be new to you, but you'll see other things you might have seen before, either at home or in your doctor's office. The scale that you stand on to see how much you weigh and how tall you are. The thermometer that takes your temperature. The stethoscope that lets the doctor listen to your breathing and heartbeat. The otoscope that helps the doctor see inside your ears, nose, or throat. The blood pressure band that gets tied on your arm and helps the doctor know more about how your heart is working. One important way doctors learn how healthy you are is by looking at a little of your blood. That can be done by pricking your finger or using a small needle to take some blood out of your arm. It sometimes feels like a pinch, but the hurt goes away soon. And of course, it's okay to cry if you want to. Your body is always making new blood, so you'll have plenty left. Another way doctors learn about how healthy you are is by looking at some of your urine. It may seem strange to urinate in a cup, but that's what a doctor or nurse may need you to do. If you have to take some medicine while you're in the hospital, 
You might get it in a cup, or buy a shot, or through an IV. An IV is a tiny needle connected to a small tube that can go in your hand or arm. The IV sends the medicine all through your body quickly and keeps it there as long as your body needs it. Your doctor will know what kind of medicine you need and the best way to give it to you. You might also go to a room where an x-ray machine takes pictures of the inside of your body. The x-ray table can feel cold and hard and you have to stay very still for a moment while you hear the machine buzz. Whoever's with you may have to stay just outside the door. X-rays are over quickly though and just like any other pictures that people take, the x-ray itself doesn't hurt. Hospitals have special beds with sides that can go up and keep people from falling out. Everybody who has to be in the hospital sleeps in a bed like this, even grown-ups. Some people get to eat in bed. That might be something they don't do at home, but it's all right to have meals in bed at the hospital. Someone will bring them to you on a tray that goes on a table that fits right over your bed. At other times, the table can come in handy as a place to draw and play. You may have a room all for yourself when you stay in the hospital. Or you may share a room with other children. Some hospitals have rooms where children can go to play. Hospitals have bathrooms too. But if someone doesn't feel well enough to walk that far, a person can use a bedpan or a urinal. It's a kind of toilet you can use right in your bed and it doesn't get the bed wet or messy. Nurses and doctors sometimes need to wear masks over their noses and mouths, but you'll still be able to see their eyes and you can be be sure they're still the same people underneath their mask, the same people who are helping you get well. When children need to stay overnight at the hospital, their moms or dads sometimes stay with them in the same room or in a room nearby. But when moms and dads can't stay all the time, you can be sure that some nurses will be there all through the night. It feels good to know that while you're in the hospital, there will always be someone who will listen if you have questions and who will come if you need help. Many people will be taking special care of you until you're well enough to go home. And that's the best part, going home to the place you know best and to the people you love the most, the ones who are so proud of how you're growing through hard times and easy times. The end.